Hey YouTube, I'm going to try out a new channel here. It's going to be called Cast Iron Savvy. And I was looking around on the internet and I was trying to find some information, you know, more along the collectible lines of different uh, cast iron items. And I noticed that there really wasn't a lot out there as far as particular, you know, collectible specific um, posts, uploads, channels, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to try this and see how it goes. Uh, it's going to be called Cast Iron Savvy, as I said. You can send questions or comments to castironsavvy at gmail.com. If you have a, a topic that you'd like for me to cover or, you know, have, you know, some comments to make um, about anything that, um, you know, you see we've posted on here, uh, feel free to email any of your questions or comments to castironsavvy, all one word, at gmail.com. And most importantly, hit the subscribe button below to keep um, updated on any of our new uh, posts that we, that we um, create. So, like I said, this is just a trial run. See what's, you know, going to happen with it. And, um, you know, we'll change and, and modify things, you know, as we go along. I know it may be, seem kind of sketchy right now, but we'll see, we'll see what happens and hopefully it'll get better, um, get better as it goes. So like I said, here's a trial run. Uh, what I'd like to cover today is, um, the Griswold skillet racks. Uh, I see a lot of these advertised as original skillet racks that are actually reproductions not actually made by Griswold and although I don't have one of the reproductions here I just want to point out a couple things that um, that you know you can instantly tell whether you have an original or reproduction I see a lot of reproductions online trying to be passed as so-called vintage or authentic when they're obviously not and although they are good, and, um, you know, no one should be opposed to buying one, they're great to display your collection on, um, just, you know, be aware that, you know, they can probably be bought, you know, the reproductions from, you know, as cheap as 25 up to, you know, possibly $50, uh, including shipping. Um, so don't pay two, three, four hundred dollars for one of these reproductions, you know, thinking it's original. So here's two original ones here. Um, there's not much difference in them. Uh, one of them has a little better chrome on it than the other one. This one has uh, some what appears to be original um, plastic foot covers to help keep from scratching you know, your tabletop. So I'm just going to go back and forth here. Like I said, these are both original ones. So you can see this one here is a little brighter. And so you can probably see more, you know, clearly. But they say Griswold. They were both um, chrome plated um, at one time. This one has lost uh, some of its some of its plating, but, you know, it's still still in in nice shape so whether or not they have the feet on them but i did notice that um, the majority of the reproductions have real chunky black feet um, that's not really i mean that may be a first clue that you know you possibly are you know you know looking at a reproduction with those real chunky black rubber feet but really what you want to look for are the welds the welds on these cross pieces, as you can see here, these cross pieces look like they're just sitting right on top of these runners. They're just, they're very neatly welded on, as you can see. The reproductions will have large globs of solder here 
in here on each side of these cross pieces. If you see large globs of solder on each side of this holding it together, it's definitely a reproduction. These original ones, they are welded extremely nice and neat. See how clean the connections are there, the welds? There's no globs of solder on either side of any of these rungs. It's nice and neat. So that's like the number one way that I tell whether I am looking at a reproduction or original. The reproductions are not put together nicely like this. These are spot welded. The others are soldered. And the reproductions are nicely done. As you can see on the back here, patent applied for and the pattern number 1064. The reproductions look very much like this. And I've seen some originals where this um, writing on the back isn't always as clear as this. Sometimes it's a little more faint. But that just, you know, there's a lot of reasons that that could have happened. Wear to the pattern over time. You know, maybe a you know a slightly poor casting. The sand wasn't as packed as well. But um, don't let that don't let the a weak um, the weak writing on the back you know deter you from it being original or a reproduction. I mean, it may be a clue, but I would not say that that was you know a very important aspect of it. Mainly the solder, you know, is going to be, um, you know, instantly you're going to know that that's the reproduction versus the spot welding. So there you go. This is the first section of Cast Iron Savvy, and we're covering these Griswold skillet racks today. These were actually supplied to retailers with a purchase of a complete set of skillets. So these really weren't for individual household use. There's not as many of them have survived, you know, as we would like for them to have been and like I said the reproductions are nice just don't pay an exorbitant amount you know for reproduction they, they are you know they are readily out there readily available and you know if you wanted to have you know a skillet rack for every one of your skillets you're probably going to have to buy some reproduction ones but you know there's nothing wrong with that at all they're very nice just don't uh, you know don't pay the price of an original if you you know or don't be deceived is what I would like to say here's the original catalog 1940 Griswold catalog showing the metal skillet rack they call it a skillet merchandiser cast iron skillet deal this convenient and attractive chrome finish skillet display rack with rubber feet offered free with each number 39 skillet deal. The rack holds six regular skillets, one each size, numbers three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See complete description of the skillets above. The six skillets with display rack packed as illustrated, size, carton, length, width, depth, packaged weight, 24 pounds. So that concludes the first episode of Cast Iron Savvy. 
Here again is the email address for questions or comments, castironsavvy at gmail.com. And hit the subscribe button below to keep updated when we post any new episodes. I hope this helps some people out there become more cast iron savvy themselves and enjoy the hobby of collecting cast iron cookware. Until next time, take care.